Here's a question. What is the one thing common in your phone, TV, car, fridge or any other device that you may use? The answer is this. A small, almost microscopic computer called a semiconductor or a chip. These semiconductors power the modern world. But there is a serious shortage of these chips that is hampering almost every industry that we know. From consumer electronics to automobiles. So in this video, we will learn about why there is a shortage of a component that literally powers the world and why this shortage might be here to stay for some time. Let's start. You may have heard about this chip shortage online or perhaps would have seen stock issues in your nearby store. The shortage of these chips has almost caused a butterfly effect in many different industries. It has been specially bad for the auto industry and consumer electronics space. It's so bad at the moment that General Motors, one of the world's largest auto manufacturers, said that it could lose up to $2 billion because of this shortage. Similarly, the Volkswagen Group delayed a number of new car launches due to the lack of chips needed for manufacturing. Slow iPhone production, unavailability of the new PlayStation 5, and lower output of smartwatches are also some of the effects of this shortage crisis. So what exactly are these chips or semiconductors? Think of it as a tiny electronic circuit. It is a material which is made of silicon and used in integrated circuits or microchips. It's used in almost every electronic device that we use these days. And they're not only a key component of every device, but they also power the factories that make these electronic devices we buy and use. Beyond that, it is a major component for businesses and governments, used in medical equipments to military tanks. So this does beg a question, if these chips are so important, why is there a global shortage today? There are multiple factors that have led to this situation. Firstly, the world of electronic chip production is very tough. There's only a few players that manufacture them. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, more famously known as TSMC, is the go-to company for manufacturing these chips with a massive 54% global market share. They make high-end chips required for things like Apple products and low-end ones found in cars. So one company makes over half of the chips that are used across the world. Such heavy reliance on one player is the starting point of this shortage. This over-reliance did not allow many companies to have a buffer between supply and demand. And for the ones that had buffer, it was completely wiped off due to the pandemic. Let's take an example. An increase in remote work caused surge in demand for computers, network peripherals and other consumer electronics with chips. So while the sales of personal electronics rose as people upgraded their home offices, sales of automobiles saw a huge drop. This led to auto manufacturers cancelling their chip orders due to a lower demand. So the chip manufacturers shifted their focus away from the auto industry to fulfill the demand in the personal electronics space. When in later half of 2021, car sales jumped back again, there were no chips available for the company since the production, which was shut entirely for over a year, was focused on filling the demand from the consumer electronics space. Another reason was various natural disasters at many chip manufacturing plants earlier in 2020. A severe winter storm in February 2021 forced the closure of two plants in Austin, owned by Samsung and NXP semiconductors. Taiwan, where the earlier mentioned TSMC is based, experienced the worst drought in more than half a century. And over in Japan, a factory owned by Renaissance Electronics which supplies 30% of the global market for microcontroller units used in cars, caught fire in March 2021. Manufacturing a new chip is hard, and the process takes about 12 months to complete. It is for this reason that many car companies are unable to source their supply from elsewhere. It is also one of the reasons why bigger companies like Apple and Google are now manufacturing their own chip units for mobile phones. Moving forward, analysts predict that the shortage will continue throughout 2022 and perhaps still even the first half of next year. Many companies like TSMC, Intel and others are increasing production to fulfill the demand. On the other hand, many governments, especially the US, are looking into existing supply chain and drafting plans to ensure local production and supply. The road to recovery from this shortage is long, but we are definitely on the right path. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.